Craig, normally this is like a 50-40 scoreline, but today you kept the tight, uh, defences tight. Um, yeah, we um, we worked pretty well on defence, yeah. Um, oh, it's, it's pretty disappointing to let them in at the end, because we, we take real pride in our D, but in the main, pretty good, but obviously a few a few tweaks to be made and, and a bit of polishing off to do. What do you really get out of your first hit out of the season? Is it really just an opposed run, um, much more than that? No, it's a little bit more than that, because we're, you know, we're putting on the Chiefs jersey and we're we play in front of a crowd who uh, who never gets, or some people don't ever get to see the Chiefs play. So it's a little bit more than a, an opposed run. Um, but you know, we we would take more shots than, than what we usually did. We had a few line-out drives and uh, take a few scrums just to to practice some scenarios, which we did. And you're only going to show so many of your moves, aren't you? Attacking moves. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Um, show some of the basic stuff and uh, the real bread and butter stuff, and then um, you know you, you add to that as you go along. You had a particularly busy season last year at all levels. Um, hard to get tuned in again come February 1. Oh, no, not really. No, we um, we had a pretty good break, you know. I think it was about seven weeks from uh, the last Nicky game to um, to when we assembled for pre-season. So, you know, it's a pretty, pretty decent break and uh, we're raring to go again. What about the pressures of being a defending champion? Has that sort of even crossed your mind yet? Oh, no, no. We've, um, we're aware of it and, and we know that... Uh, there'll be uh, higher expectations, but um, with the, the coaching crew that we've got, we, we demand, we, we have high expectations all the time, so it, it adds a little bit to it, but um, we're, we're, we're used to it. Off across the Taz now to uh, have a bit of a camp and a game over there. Yeah, off to Malula Bar. Um, I think it's uh, the water's drained away from the flooding, hopefully. The field will be nice and soft, so yeah, um, got the reds, hopefully it's not too hot again, but um, you know, they'll, they'll be a, a challenging opponent too with um, a lot of their, their star players back. And finishing off the pre-season campaign against the Hurricanes, where pretty much you'll have your, your first string lineup uh, having a crack at some stage. Yeah, I'd say at some stage during that game there'll be uh, a, a, a full-strength team, and you know that's uh, that's always a good occasion. The sort of a festival atmosphere, atmosphere crowd, and, um, and and a good Hurricanes team. Well, Jose, what do you make uh, of that? It started well, but they they just uh, punished you sort of second and third quarters. Yeah, I think um, you know, obviously the, the defending champions, so they played really well. And I think for us, we just wanted to get um, get a little bit of game time under our belt, a bit of a uh, bit of physicality, a bit of bit of contact in that. So um, I think we got that. I thought we finished um, we finished well, and um, and yeah, we've, I think we can take like a lot of positives um, out of that going forward. What are the pre-game instructions from Jamie? Does he give you a bit of license to try for some things uh, this early on? Um, well, yeah. Well, well uh, the main things for us is that um, you know we didn't do a lot of work on our defence. So obviously, you know, we, we fell off um, fell off a few things there. But um, I think for me, that wasn't really much of a much of a concern for this game. I think more importantly for us was um, was wanted to get some of our set piece strikes and um, against some proper defence and stuff. And um, and I think we were quite quite happy with that. Penalty count was high, particularly in the first half against you. Yeah, we let ourselves down a few times. Again, uh, we hadn't done a lot of work on D, so we caught offside a couple of times. Um, might have been a couple of times a few of the boys had their hands in the ruck there. So um, again, you know, gives us a few things to work on, and, and, and um, definitely look forward to that going forward. Do you, uh, we know Jamie drives you pretty hard uh, before these first few games, but you need it today, the fitness. Yeah, definitely, and I think um, you know just that match fitness. We've got a couple of uh, or a few guys playing their first game as well, so uh, I think for them it was good for them. They they got a taste of uh, of, of what it's like, um, so they've, they've got got a little bit of experience under their belt there, and um, and yeah, I guess just just trying to get some uh, trying to get some game time under our belt. I think more importantly, and you got a taste of captaincy. How did you enjoy that? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Um, I really can't really say much from out on the wing, but. Uh, I leave that up to my insights to sort of relay that in, but um, no, I thought it was good. We've still got a few older boys in the forwards, so um, it makes my job a hell of a lot easier. So as long as we get uh, get some of those big guys up front sort of going forward and, and leading from leading the charge, then um, definitely makes it a little bit easier out wide there. I know the fans are very excited by the names in the squad this year. Is there a good buzz in the camp? Yeah, definitely. But I think um, I, th I think for us or for, for me personally, it's more importantly the um, the guys that are just underneath the big names is, uh, are going to be the backbone for us. So. Um, I think it was good for them to get a taste out there today, and uh, and hopefully when uh, when our experienced boys come back, they'll just they'll just add to um, add to, to, to what's been what's been happening. So, yeah, it's part of you in Wellington at the moment. You get a, you sort of some thoughts to the guys there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm always looking out for them. I've played with the boys. I've got some good relationship with the boys. So, um, we'll, be, we'll be looking on checking on the phones as soon as we finished here and uh, keeping track of their progress. So now it'll be good. Your old mate Corey James had a bit of bad luck. That's uh, sad news about the long-term injury. Yeah, definitely sad. I sort of, um, and I sort of feel for Siege as well. So, 
um, you know, I know how, how he's feeling. You, you, you're sort of trying to come back and um, after the break, and then this sort of happens, so you've got an extended break. But I think um, um, I think the, the important thing to come out of that is that you can go away and you, and you can you can gives you a bit of time to work on your game. So there are definitely a lot of positives out of getting injured, and it's not so much a, a big negative. Looks like we had a pretty well clean bill of health today with the, the Highlanders, so we keep our fingers crossed. Yeah. Fingers crossed. I think this time the last couple of years we've had a few injuries and stuff, eh? so uh, I think we're happy to get through that one unscathed. And, um, you know, we've got the Crusaders next week, so hopefully the boys um, boys pull up the next two pre-season game, you know, pretty good. So, Gareth, it's good to get on the board both as a team and individually. Yeah, it was nice, you know, I guess the boys have been training pretty hard now for the last couple of weeks, so it was nice to put, you know, a few of our systems in place and, uh, you know, I thought we got better as the game wore on and um, I suppose, you know, it was nice to just jump on back a few passes, a bit of hard work done by everyone else and I just finished them off. It's a good sign of understanding though, isn't it? Uh, you're new to the squad and you, some of those moves were quite clever. Yeah, like I said, I thought the boys went pretty well and I thought, you know, maybe it took us a, a little while to get into our game, but uh, I think as the game went on, you know, we got better and um, our systems came off, so it was nice to, you know, have a good start and now something to build on. A good turnover ball to work with too. Yeah, you know, we got a few dangerous men out the back with Timmy and, and you know, um, ticks and stuff, so uh, I guess if we can, you know, defend well and give them some good turnover ball, then we're going to cause some uh, problems for some teams. And the fact you took the shot at goal, the penalty shows, there's some seriousness today. Yeah, you know, we always want to win, so uh, I was told by the coaches to take a few uh, kicks at goal if it came on, so uh, that was nice and I thought we had a, you know, we really worked into that game in that middle half and uh, really took a bit of control into the win, so that was nice and, um, you know, I think now we can build on this and bring in some new systems in for next week. It just shows you have to rehearse the things you're going to do in the game, aren't they? It's, it's not a fun social match, this is a real thing. Yeah, exactly. Look, you know, I, I suppose when we play the Highlanders in round one, there'll be a completely different side. So, uh, neither side was perfect, but it's nice to try a few things that we've done in training and see some of them come off and see what worked and what didn't work. So, like I said, we'll review this uh, this week and I guess make some changes for next week. And uh, a bit of time together over in Australia will help, just a bit more bonding? Yeah, most probably. It wouldn't be too bad. Uh, we'll have to see what those floods are like, but. Um, yeah, look, uh, we'll look forward to that and uh, hopefully, you know, improving each week. Have you enjoyed your, your, your short time in the camp so far? Are you, you fitting in nicely? Yeah, really enjoyed it. You know, uh, nice to get away from Auckland for a little bit, I think. And uh, it's a really good group, a real good coaching environment. And uh, the boys are all good and, yeah, loving it at the moment. You moved into Hamilton? Are you in town? Yeah, living with uh, Sam and Brody with Talek, So uh, it's interesting, but, yeah, now loving it. And uh, we all get along. And like I said, the boys are all good. And um, the boys are training hard at the moment. Good to see goal kicking on song early. Yeah, I was a little bit worried, hadn't done too much uh, practice to be honest, but uh, I suppose we got a few easy ones towards the end, which is nice. So, uh, yeah, look, I'll keep working away then until we go over the rest of the week. Well, Tim, the Highlanders don't have a tr great track record at pre-season games. Um, uh, what did you get out of that match? Yeah, Whopper just sort of had a bit of a yarn to the boys then. He said we've lost the last five in the last two sort of seasons. So, um, and then we come in and win the first five of the game. So hopefully it's nothing to read into and uh, hopefully we can come at it with a few work-ons, which we have. Uh, we've got a few work-ons like walk we weren't sort of dominating the breakdown, they were getting too quick ball. I think they sort of, yeah, we were always on the back foot and they just flew straight over. So we just wanted to slow that ruck down and sort of stop, stop them from getting gain line. Brad Thorne seemed to be quite vocal at the end of the first quarter, so he's pitching in already. Yeah, he's a big boy, all right, And he's pretty critical in those breakdown around there, so, you know, he's got a lot of experience and, yeah, he's helping a lot of us out. But the cloud cover was appreciated in the breeze today, I imagine, because it can be very hot here. That first quarter was a bit of a killer, so. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was good when that came in, second half, but no, she was pretty hot and she was a good start. I know it doesn't mean a lot the game, but it's, it is good, good to get back into game action, isn't it, rather than just running up and down a training field? Well, at least we know what to work on now, like, you know, the training, everything looks good in the training, but when you actually come to a game, you actually know what's working, you don't know what's not, so we've got a few work-ons and, um, yeah, it should be a big day Monday. Different for you this season, you pitched it halfway through last year, you're here from the start, aren't you? So it makes a big difference. And it's good to sort of know all the calls. I got rushed in last year and sort of chucked straight in the deep end, so at least I know where I stand now and I can know all the moves properly and just, yeah, do my work. But you are an experienced hand at this level. Where are the new guys fitting in? Yeah, it's good to see Hugh there today. So this is his first sort of introduction and, um, yeah, he's asking lots and, yeah, he'll come along quite, quite good, I think, with Hardy. Hopefully Hardy's back in next week, so he'll be, he'll be there as well. Yeah, you got to share that work around the loose forwards, don't you, particularly before the big stuff comes around? Yeah, it's like a big season, so um, yeah, you can't sort of kill your body too much.